Alright, we've got a lot to get through today, so I'm going to jump right in. By now you should have a pretty good idea of how all of these pieces work, so I'll keep the explanations to a minimum and just focus on here's what we need to do, and here's the code to do it. So here's what we need to do. Add an update button to each user in our list. Open up slash views slash userlist.ejs, and just below the delete button line, add the following code. This is an artifact from last week's video. We don't actually need it. We could do this with a button and a bunch of XHR, but I think this is going to be quicker and easier. We'll create a get route for that page, and it'll snag the user info from the DB and populate the form. Then we'll submit the form with a post method. With a RESTful API, we'd use put, but form submissions can only be get or post. We'll update the user and kick back to the list page. So save the file you just changed, and then create a new file in slash views called update.ejs. Here's the code you'll need for that. This is a big chunk of mostly stuff we've already covered, so I'm going to go ahead and paste here. As you can see, it's very similar to the create user form, except we're adding values that are coming from the server. Save that file, and obviously we need to update our route to access it and provide it data. So open up slash routes slash users.js. At the bottom, above the module.exports line, add this code. Save that file. We should be able to head over to localhost port 3000 slash users. If we refresh, we'll see our update links. We'll update to storm. Click on it, and we get our form populated with the user's data. So far, so good. Now we need to do something when the form's submitted. So head back to slash routes slash users.js, and again at the bottom, but above the module.exports line, add this code. We're using a bit of destructuring there to keep the code clean. If you're unfamiliar with destructuring, check out JS Quick Hits 5. If you're unfamiliar with variable shorthand, try JS Quick Hits 11. Anyway, that's it. We're done. Save the file. Head back to localhost port 3000 slash users, or just refresh this. Click an update link, or again, just refresh this. Make some changes. Sue Storm YYY, Sue at Sue.com.org. S storm one two three and age of twenty seven. Submit and we'll see that our changes have been made. Exciting. So there we go. We've covered the basics of CRUD with MongoDB and Mongoose. We're going to handle authentication at some point in the future, but I think we've earned a rest from multi part tutorials. Next week will be well, I haven't figured that out yet, but it'll be a one off. See you then.